What's up fellow Tubians? So if you're like me and you're super curious, well, you are bound to click on this video. Today, we are comparing cameras from two very popular flagship level devices. On one side, we have Apple's iPhone 13 Pro. On the other side, we have Google's Pixel 6 Pro. And believe me when I tell you, both these are fantastic devices. If you want full reviews on them, I'll leave links in the video description below so you can check those out. But what we're doing here today is a straight out high level camera comparison to see where each phone excels, where it might be lacking. And the best part is I'm just gonna show you the pictures. You guys can be the judge, whether you're trying to justify your purchase, think a reason to buy one for over another, or you're just a crazy fanboy. Well, all those curiosities can be satisfied with this video. So as always, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button, sub to my channel. Thanks for watching, let's go. Before I go into the picture test itself, just a quick recap on the camera setups we have here on each phone. So on the iPhone 13 Pro, you have a total of three lenses. The first one being a ultra wide lens with a 0.5 times zoom. The second one being the standard wide angle lens. And the third one is a telephoto lens with a three times optical zoom rate. Now on the Google Pixel 6 Pro, you also have a total of three cameras. Again, a ultra wide lens at a 0.7 times zoom rate, the standard wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens with a four times optical zoom rate. It's worth noting the Pixel 6 Pro has a maximum digital zoom of times 20 versus the times 15 on the iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, so for our first test, I decided to cover the standard wide angle lens that comes on both phones. This is gonna be the most commonly used photo function and right off the bat, you'll notice that both these phones have a fantastic level of detail. Every picture is crisp, sharp, and it just looks so amazing. With that said, one immediate difference I noticed is the color tone variation between the two phones. The Pixel 6 Pro has a way more neutral tone to it. So if you look carefully, you notice that colors tend to look a little bit more toned down. They're actually somewhat close to what you see with your own two eyes. Some people will really like the neutral photography going on here because like I said, it's a more accurate representation of reality. But some people might consider these to be slightly dull. And again, you can do a lot of post edits, but this is the picture you get as soon as you take that shot. The iPhone 13 Pro on the other hand tends to have a more lively color palette. The image looks more flush and vivid. Some people really appreciate how the image kind of just pans out, but other people might say it's almost like you have this soft tone filter going on and may prefer the more neutral looks of the picture. Pixel 6 Pro. In any case though, both these phones do a fantastic job at capturing images, particularly in broad daylight. As we start going more towards mid light settings where it's not low light, but not super bright like daylight settings either, you start noticing the Pixel 6 Pro tends to struggle a little bit with white balancing. Some images have this very slight bluish tint going on where the white color seems to be inconsistent across various settings in different daylight or nighttime or low light settings in general. The iPhone 13 Pro in contrast to this actually maintains a pretty consistent white balance throughout all levels of pictures. Although I will still say the iPhone tends to have a somewhat excessively vivid representation of the color white. And so the image actually appears brighter than it definitely would be in real life. Rest of the Pixel Pro definitely has a more neutral tone going on. As we come to low light settings, both phones again do a very good job at handling that kind of environment. So you'll notice if you look at most pictures that under low light, both phones capture a significant amount of detail, although there is a slight bit more lens flare on the Pixel 6 Pro. But overall, I also find the Pixel 6 Pro has a better representation of the color palette over here. Or so the iPhone 13 Pro has a slight drop in the amount of color it's capturing per picture. But again, you'll notice that the white balancing on the iPhone 13 Pro is more consistent, whereas the Pixel 6 Pro still tends to struggle and sometimes gets a very slight bluish tint and isn't able to quite distinguish the different types of whites that it's seeing. But overall, both these phones will not fail you under low light settings. And I was honestly impressed just how much detail they're able to capture despite the variation in lighting. The ultra wide lens on both phones is also fantastic. Now it is worth knowing the iPhone 13 Pro has a slight advantage here since it has a 0.5 times zoom 
versus 0.7 times on the Pixel 6 Pro. Despite this, both phones capture plenty of scope and if you're looking for a wide shot to capture all the landscape, you'll definitely be able to do so. I did find of course under lower light settings, both phones tend to struggle a little bit more as the ultra wide lens isn't able to quite capture the same amount of detail the standard wide angle lens does. Now when you come to the telephoto lens, I have to give it the Pixel 6 Pro has a number of advantages here. For beginners, the iPhone 13 Pro has an optical zoom rate of times 3 versus the times 4 on the Pixel 6 Pro, which basically means you can get closer with images and there is practically no noise whatsoever. The crisp and detailed look that you're expecting is retained with a higher zoom rate. With that said though, the iPhone 13 Pro is no slouch. It does a great job at capturing a great amount of detail just with the times 3 zoom. However, where the Pixel 6 Pro definitely outshines the iPhone 13 Pro and a lot of other manufacturers for that matter is when you go to the maximum times 20 digital zoom. So for example, on the iPhone, you can only go up to times 15, but the Pixel 6 Pro just destroys the iPhone when it comes to the amount of clarity, detail, and color accuracy it retains despite having such a heavy digital zoom. And this is in part thanks to the AI programming Google has done to optimize the Pixel to take such fantastic fantastic digital shots. The iPhone isn't bad either. It just doesn't look great when compared to the Pixel 6 Pro in this department. Making our way to the front facing camera and putting aside my beautiful face, I have to say the iPhone 13 Pro has a clear advantage here. Not only does it look more crisp, color accurate and detailed, it also has no noise whatsoever. Whereas the Pixel 6 Pro's front facing camera is questionable. It has a slight bit of noise in daylight settings. On top of that, it doesn't capture the same amount of detail and it just has this sense of mediocreness. And I have to say this is a problem with many hole punch camera designs and the Pixel 6 Pro is no exception here. Go into darker settings under low light conditions and the gap just becomes even more significant where the iPhone 13 Pro retains a high quality image capture with a great amount of detail and these Pixel 6 Pro starts getting even more noise and lesser detail per capture. Making our way to a video test, it's worth noting both phones were recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. And the first thing you want to notice is that both phones again capture a great amount of detail. The image is nice and crisp. However, I did notice that the iPhone 13 Pro does a better job here at the image stabilization. The image isn't as shaky versus the Pixel 6 Pro, which has the occasional shakiness. However, despite that, I still think both phones do a great job. But I will also say when you start going to more mid light setting, the iPhone 13 Pro starts getting a slight advantage. The stabilization takes a slight hit on the Pixel 6 Pro, whereas the iPhone retains the same amount of stabilization and it also has a very consistent white balance going on here, whereas the Pixel 6 Pro again starts kind of confusing different tones of white and struggles a little bit over here, but the dynamic range on both phones remains relatively healthy. Now when you go to low light settings, the Pixel 6 Pro starts struggling pretty hard here. There there is a fair bit of noise going on here and also there's a ton of lens flare. The iPhone 13 Pro has a little bit of lens flare but it's way more controlled and there is way less noise. In fact, in some cases practically no noise and the iPhone 13 Pro has a clear advantage over here. Overall, I have to say in the video department, the iPhone 13 Pro still remains the undisputed champion when it comes to video quality capture. And yes, it's worth knowing it doesn't have 8K capture like Samsung does, but it still does a phenomenal job at just capturing a great amount of detail under low light settings. Finally, I wanna talk about portrait mode. So while the iPhone 13 Pro has slightly better edge detection in my opinion, it takes a lot longer to take a portrait shot. Whereas the Pixel 6 Pro is almost an instantaneous portrait shot. And also the edge detection is almost at the same level of the iPhone 13 Pro. And this is a very neck and neck comparison. It's hard to put a objectively clear winner in this category. So guys, hopefully this camera test gave you a decent idea of what both these phones are capable. I don't pretend to be an expert photographer. There are a ton of elements here at play that ultimately decide how well these cameras perform. And also keep in mind what you're seeing on your screen will vary slightly from what you see on the phone screens themselves. But beyond all those external factors, overall, I think both these phones have fantastic cameras. They shine in certain areas and they have areas of improvement as well. 
but generally speaking, you really can't go wrong with either one. Let me know which camera you prefer, whether it's the iPhone 13 Pro setup or the Pixel 6 Pro and why that might be. And like I said, all the pictures you saw here were straight out of the camera. They weren't modified or edited in any way or form. It's literally just a snapshot of at the moment. So no edits, no nothing, just pure images. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, sub to my channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.